This contest is scheduled for three rounds in the 10th Legion Lightweight Division. Introducing first, Ramon Madruga Silva. And his opponent, Monik Ejakovsky. Now we are set for three rounds in the 10th Legion Lightweight Division. It is being brought to you by MMA Uncaged Magazine, training, be it livid, Check it out on newsstands right now. Introducing first fighting to my left out of the red corner. This man stands in at five feet 11 inches tall. Official weight, 70 kilograms. Undefeated as a professional, he has a record of one win against no defeats. Representing the Nagao Mixed Martial Arts Den and hailing from London by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Amon Madruga Silva. And here's the point across the cage to my right, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands in at five feet nine inches tall, official weight 70 kilos. A veteran of eight professional bouts, he has a record consisting of three wins against five defeats. Representing KO MMA, and coming to us from London, by way of Sopar, Poland, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Marek Ijekowski. And referee in charge when the horn sounds is Ashley Grimshaw. And now we move to the lightweights. Marek Ijakovsky out of the blue corner wearing the white, the black and red. Wearing the white and black is Hamon Madruga Silva. Silva, 23 years of age, looking for a takedown as Silva trying to get Ijakovsky down, but Jakovsky turns the tables. Ijakovsky, 30 years of age, trains out of KO MMA. Coaches are James Danko, Bill Judd. He's an assistant MMA coach full time. The last time he was inside the cage, he lost to Hayden Crutchfield, who was in our co main event of the evening later tonight. He's been doing a, a lot of no gi grappling, as Marek Ijekovsky. Meantime, Amon Madruga Silva looking for a submission attempt. He's a purple belt in BJJ, soon to be brown under Leo Nagal, BJJ world champion. And he has an arm bar. It may be deep. Ijekovsky is potentially in some trouble, but he gets out of it. Amon Madruga Silva. And now he has it again, now looking for a triangle choke. He is so crafty, is the 23-year-old from London by way of Rio de Janeiro, where he grew up as a child. Ramon Madruga Silva was the 10th Legion semi-pro lightweight champion, and he's looking to continue in his era of dominance in the professional ranks, already having a pro win under his belt, which was six months ago over Sam Jeffrey by unanimous decision again. He's trying to set up some traps. Ramon Madruga Silva reminds me Similar to his jiu-jitsu in the fashion of Miguel Torres, former WEC Bantamweight champion of the world and current UFC Bantamweight sensation. He's always set in traps. Silva seems to be one or two steps ahead of you as he allows you to get one position because he has a certain hold in mind when you go ahead and decide to take the position that he gives you. But right now, Ijakovsky is trying to batter Silva with some elbows from the guard. 
Leo Nagao in the corner of Hamon Silva. And Leo Nagao shouting instructions to Silva in Portuguese as Mariki Jakovsky had no prediction coming into this fight. He just wants to go out there and put forth maximum effort. And now Amon Madruga Silva loading up an armbar attempt. That may be deep as he slams him. Does Mariki Jakovsky to get out of that armbar attempt. As now Silva's developed a cut above his right eye. Doesn't seem to be dripping into his vision whatsoever, so that's fine. But Hamon Silva has been nicked up in this fight by Mariki Jakovsky. This is one thing that makes Tessie so special. We see Hamon Silva from London, now originally from Rio de Janeiro. Mariki Jakovsky originally grew up in Sopot, Poland, now living in London. And that's one of the beauties of 10th Legion, is Eleanor makes it a point to bring in fighters from all over the world. And also, that's what makes the city of London such an international melting pot. There's so many different cultures and and ethnicities and races that are all living here in one of the world's preeminent cities. As now throwing some elbows from top is Mariki Tchaikovsky. Also don't forget to pick up your latest copy of MMA on Cage Magazine, Train It, Be It, Live It. The next issue is on newsstands right now. A terrific periodical detail in the world of mixed martial arts, fitness, boxing, you name it. They have it covered in a marsh an MMA uncaged magazine. And the corner of Mariki Tchaikovsky, James Danko and Bill Judd informing him to go body, body, head. And he's kind of standing on the hamstrings of Hamon Silva Looking to pass the side control. I'm on Silva trying to load up a triangle or an armbar of sorts. He's so crafty on the bottom as I'm on Silva, but right now he's taking a little bit of a beating. Compliments of Mariki Tchaikovsky. Tries to grab an arm. Now he's looking for a leg lock. Uh oh. I'm on Silva with 10 seconds to go. Will he grab a hold of a toehold of sorts? E. Tchaikovsky gets out of danger. And he delivers some thudding elbows and strikes from on top. As Hamon Silva took some damage specifically to the right side of his face as Leo Nagao is livid and berated. Hamon Silva will come back with a second round scheduled for three. As we see our lovely rain card girl, Lauren, here at 10th Legion Championship fighting here at Scala King's Cross in London, the lovely Lauren, who is enjoying herself here at the sold out Scala King's Cross. Here we see Amon Silva being talked to by Leo Nagao. What a fight we have so far. This card has been exciting and has had me on the edge of my seat and much to the delight of this sold out crowd here at Scala King's Cross. Still to come, just the Joker Leon Don defends his 10th Legion welterweight world championship against Juan Manuel Suarez. Second round now as Silva looks for a Superman punch, but he gets taken down immediately by Marek Ijakovsky. Ijakovsky, seven years the elder of Hamon Silva. Hamon Silva, a full-time fighter, wants to improve his record to 2 at home. But right now, in order to try to get a submission victory, he will no doubt take home a shiner or two. Mariki Jakovsky as Silva coming to his knees. Can he stand up? And he does so. And now Hamon Silva now is caught in a guillotine choke attempt by way of Mariki Jakovsky. It's inside control, so it doesn't seem that bad. As Hamon Silva has gotten out, but now if he can close the guard, it could be more of an opportunity 
Brzezikowski to finish it off, but knowing the background of Amon Silva being a strong purple belt under Leo Nagal, it's gonna be brown belt. I highly doubt, and right now the fight, no, no, no. It's Amon Silva, Ashley Grimshaw. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at one minute, 28 seconds of the second round for your winner by technical submission guillotine choke, Monik Ejekovsky.